evening. Welcome back to Gardening at Home with Liz. Today we're going to talk about how to make an immune boosting and anti-inflammatory tea out of echinacea and mint. These are things you can easily grow in your own home garden. Here is an echinacea flower that I harvested earlier today. Echinacea is also called cone flower or purple cone flower. And the parts that we're gonna harvest are the petals and the base of the flower. So all you need to do is pluck off your petals and pluck off the top of your flower and you're gonna hang on to these and save them for your tea. For your mint, here you can see I've got spearmint and chocolate mint. So there are two very different flavors. Your spearmint's gonna be pretty sharp and intense and your chocolate mint will be a little bit sweeter. So to harvest your mint, all you have to do is hold the tip, gently place your hands over the stem. Oop, that was a terrible job. Let's try that again. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easy. So you're gonna hold the tip and place your hand over the stem and pluck off all the leaves. That time it worked. I'm gonna put my leaves over to the side to save them for the tea. Same with the spearmint, hold the tip and pluck off all the leaves. So once you have all your leaves and flower petals, this is your tea mixture. So you can use it dried or fresh. Fresh is gonna have a more intense flavor and you'll get more oils out of the mint and the flower. So I'm just gonna boil these leaves and petals in water for about 20 minutes. And that's it, that's your tea. You can drink it iced or hot. You can add honey or no honey. Either way, it's delicious and really great for your body. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you again next week.